Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Marv with God First Ministry. And you know, when, when the Holy Spirit says, get to work, you get to work. Okay, I just got off of work. I've been home with a little bit with the family. And, and it, the Holy Spirit said, make a video. You know, I got a conference call here in a little bit. But uh, I have to make this video. It's very important that these videos get out. Uh, I just feel this sense of urgency. It's like the Holy Spirit just pushing, pushing, pushing to get these videos out. And uh, we are in the book of Acts, and there's so much good information in here, and I, I pray that I can do it justice, and that what you hear may just help you say, you know what, I want that relationship with Jesus. So let's take this to the Lord in prayer right now. Lord, I just ask you that uh, the words that, that these people hear tonight, today, whenever they read this or watch this video, Lord, I, I pray that this message will affect them in such a way that that they accept the Holy Spirit into them and let it dwell within them, and they they hunger for a relationship with your Son, Jesus Christ. God, in your precious name I pray, amen. Guys, we are in Acts uh, chapter 15, verses 6 through 21. So let me read those real quick, and then we'll... Uh, have a, I'll have a little message there at the end, okay? You know, it's titled the Jerusalem Council, and I'm reading out of the New King James Version, if that matters to anybody. I just want you to know that. Now the apostles and elders came together to consider this matter. And when there had been much dispute, Peter rose up and said to them, Men and brethren, you know that a good while ago God chose among us that by mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. So God, who knows the heart, acknowledged them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us, and made no distinction between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why do you test God by putting a yoke on the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved in the same manner as they. Then all the multitude kept silent and listened to Barnabas and Paul, declaring how many miracles and wonders God had worked through them among the Gentiles. And after they had become silent, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, listen to me. Simon has de de declared how God at the first visited the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. And with this the words of the prophets agree, just as it is written. After this I will return, and will rebuild the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down. I will rebuild its ruins, and I will set it up, so that the rest of mankind may seek the Lord. Even all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord, who does all these things. Known to God from eternity are all his works. Therefore, I judge that we should not trouble those from among the Gentiles who are turning to God, <coughs> Excuse me, but that we write to them to abstain from things polluted by idols, from sexual immorality, from things strangled, and from blood. For Moses has had throughout many generations those who preach him in every city, being read in the synagogues every Sabbath. You know, guys, the word of God is for all, Gentiles and Jew or anyone who is an unbeliever. God reigns supreme then, now and forever. His works prove this. We need just open our eyes and see. Will your heart change to allow your eyes to open? Now, go be Jesus to someone today because you might be the only Jesus they get to see. God bless you guys. I pray this message did hit home. I pray for that one bullseye. If I don't get anyone else to come to Jesus through this message, I pray that at least one, at least one does. Guys, if you would, please, this is a YouTube video you're watching more than likely, please hit the like button, hit the share button, and hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell, because when you hit that little bell, then you can see all the new videos that are coming out. And I, I do appreciate you sharing them because this is not for me. This is a faceless ministry. This is for God. This is to get the gospel of Jesus Christ out to as many people as we can. And what a great platform YouTube has provided for us to do that. So thank you, YouTube, for this. Thank you, God, for allowing me to do this. And uh, thank you for your support and watching these videos. And I do pray 
that God be with you. I love you guys, and we'll see you at the next video.